you come from a functional programming background, um, you know, working with Haskell, for example. So how have you experienced these changes? So <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, I've been working a bit with Haskell and, and a bit of, of Elixir. Working at the CDN, for example, is a functional model, in my opinion. So Arama is an immutable database. We treat it as an immutable data structure. So every time you want to update Orama at the edge, for example, you have to redeploy the index. So in a sense, I was mainly inspired by functional programming in, in working that way. There is an inversion of paradigm when it comes to, to search in general. It, it's not just full text, but also um, vector hybrid search and newer kind of searches that ChatGPT told us that we need to implement. Um, and making everything running at the edge and making it, you know, in a functional architecture actually made it possible. So that's something that I kept from my functional background. But there is a good quote I can give you from the, um, it was the V8 documentation, I think, that said, like, if you want your JavaScript to be as fast as C, just write it as you write C. So... It's not functional, I'm sorry. Um, functional programming in JavaScript, it's very fun. JavaScript itself started as a functional language back then in 1995. But nowadays, um, if you want to have cool performances, you have to make two compromises. First of all, write um, imperative code. Second, if you really care about performance, it's going to be pretty ugly. But again, that's a compromise. And sometimes mm -hmm. you, you can't compromise with speed. For example, if you, if you want to execute your code on Cloudflare workers, you only got 50 milliseconds for executing the code. So it, you see, you can't compromise with performances there. And sometimes functional programming makes it a bit harder on JavaScript specifically to run that fast. Then you have other programming languages such as OCaml, Haskell, et cetera, that are faster, but for different reasons. But that's not the case for JavaScript, sadly.